Well, it's Boxing Day and Nigerians are still basking in the euphoria of the Yuletide. Plus TV Africa visited some churches in Lagos to feel the pulse of Christians this last Sunday of the year. Our correspondent, Paul Judge, has more. Joyous celebration. It is Boxing Day, a day set aside to share gift and love. In the spirit of Christmas, we set out to some churches and the atmosphere was one filled with happiness and dancing. At the Trinity House, the senior pastor of the church, Itwa Igodalu, charged Nigerians to show love to one another by giving and sharing, which is the essence of Christmas. Other Christian faithfuls bear their minds on the state of the nation's economy and what they expect as the year 2022 approaches. And make sure that we can feed people on a regular basis. We intend to feed at least a thousand people every month in the Trinity House food, ba food bank. At least a thousand people every month in different communities starting this new year. At least a thousand people in our own boxes. Our determination is that nobody will go to bed hungry. With the pandemic, with the COVID thing which has come to stay, we cannot do away without it. So it, 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 there's a lot of difference. Christmas don't used to be like this, but now it has come. So we have to just see how we can um, see through together. Like I keep saying, it keeps getting better. Last year has its own challenges. This has its own challenges. Yesterday too, project to have its own challenges. So. It will not be the same as last day. Regardless of whatever has happened, um, we are alive and we've been given a precious gift which is Jesus Christ and we should just um, forget about the past, pick the lessons, enjoy the season. The atmosphere was no different at the city of David Church. It was a time for Nigerians to reflect on the highs and lows of the outgoing year just as one of the members hoped for a better year ahead. I have to thank God for all the things we passed through in this year. But by the grace of God, we are standing and living. But as for this year, uh, it's so hard. My expectation for the new year, I'm asking the Lord of Almighty to touch the heart of our government. To touch the heart of our government, because a lot of us are suffering a lot. As the year 2021 draws to a close with different emotions for Nigerians, they are however hopeful the new year will usher in good tidings for the country. Paul George for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.